Wow, okay, this is massive news for console Overwatch. I'm not sure how much this is going to impact PC Overwatch. Well, of course, it's going to be great for us to be able to play with our friends on console, especially in non-competitive modes. And I'd imagine this is being set up for Overwatch 2, so in PvE, we can play with our friends across any kind of system. However, console players can play together in competitive. So what I've got here, guys, is the complete FAQ for the way this new system is going to work. Now, I'm going to break all of it down in this video because there's a lot of stuff to go over and there's some particularly juicy things. For example, if you play with a PC player and you're on console, you will not have aim assist enabled. This is apparently for some sort of competitive integrity, but we'll get over to that in a second. All right, let's break all of this down. So we know crossplay is coming to Overwatch. Now, this will allow players to group and play together, and this is going to be powered by the latest global battle.net update. Players from around the world can team up regardless of their preferred platform. With the release of Crossplay, all players will need to make a Battle.net account and link their appropriate console accounts. With the launch of Crossplay, everyone who logs into Overwatch by the end of 2020, one, will receive a golden loot box to celebrate. Okay, so how do you prepare your account? Well, these are the details. All console players will be required to make a Battle.net account and link it to their console, Xbox, PSN, or Nintendo account. PC players do not need to take this step. You already have a Battle.net account. Upon launching the game, you will be prompted to link to your console account to a Battle.net account. Follow the steps below to create a Battle.net account and uh, then link your console game account to your Battle.net account. Okay, awesome stuff. So basically what you do is you visit Battle.net or Battle.net you create a free Battle.net account. Once you've created your Battle.net account, you go to your account settings and then you click on connections under the section where it says account settings. You then click link your console. And then how do you link your console? Okay, well, these instructions apparently apply to the in-game steps console players will need to take once cross-play is available. Remember, it's not available at the moment, but when it is available, this is what you'll need to do. Launch the game on your system. Press the confirmation button to progress through the Overwatch welcome screen. You will then be presented with an alphanumeric code and a QR code. The alphanumeric code can then be entered at battle.net forward slash pair. The QR code may be scanned with a mobile app to take you to the linking web page, which will then be pre-populated with the code provided in-game. Log in with your battle.net account credentials to finalize the connection between your console and your battle.net accounts. You will receive a message in-game that notifies that your account is now successfully connected then you can exit and then relaunch Overwatch and then you should be enabled for cross-play. And then what that means is you'll be able to play with everyone. So it means that if you've got friends playing on Switch and you're playing on Xbox, well, you guys can play together, right? If you're playing on PC and you've got a friend playing on Switch, well, you guys can play together in non-competitive modes. But let me go into the details now because there are some things we need to be aware of because this isn't just a free-for-all. It isn't like, oh yeah, why have I got a Switch player <laughs> in my PC comp game? Or why have I got a PC player in my Xbox game, you know? Anyway, let's let's check this out. So, these are the FAQs. Account linking. How do I link my Battle.net account to my console? Well, we've been over that, so I'm not going to really cover that again. Remember, there is a link to all of this in the video description below, because I believe it should be on the Play Overwatch blog, or some form of this should be. Will I need to create a Battle.net account, even if I don't plan to use crossplay? So, for console players... Yes, with the addition of crossplay feature, all players will need to set up a Battle.net account or connect to an existing Battle.net account. PC players know you already have a Battle.net account. I play on PC, what do I need to do? Nothing, just keep enjoying Overwatch and welcome your new console friends by grouping up and playing matches. Fair enough. What systems are supported with the crossplay feature? So this is supported on all systems where Overwatch is currently available. PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, there's so many Xboxes, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch. Now, one thing I will say about this is almost certainly when mobile Overwatch comes out, maybe that'll be thrown into this. <laughs> maybe? I don't know. Hmm, we'll have to wait and see. So what about progress and, in fact, before we get into progress and leaderboards, when will you get the golden loot box and will you get it on just one system? So players will receive the golden loot box everywhere they play Overwatch, PC, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Switch, if they're associated with the same Battle.net account. Okay, that's cool. Right then, let's talk about progress and leaderboards. So, will my progression carry over between systems? No, it will not. 
While crossplay will allow you to group up with friends using other systems, no progress and collection content will carry over between sessions on different systems. So this is a biggie because it means that you will not be able to switch to a different platform and keep your account stuff, which is always an issue. And I hope or I wish they could resolve this in some way. I know there's a lot of issues with this. Things going on in the PSN store, the Xbox store, and all of that. So, And I'll just read this again. So, progression and leaderboards. Will my progression carry over between systems? No. While crossplay will allow you to group up with friends using other systems, no progress and collection content will carry over between sessions on different systems. So a bit of a letdown there. Will stats be reset when crossplay launches? No, they will not. Will ranks SR be reset when crossplay launches? No, they will not. Will top 500 leaderboards include players from other systems? There will be separate leaderboards for PC players, cross-play enabled console players, and cross-play disabled console players. Because remember, you don't have to actually enable cross-play. You could leave it off. But I'm going to go out there and say console populations and wait times, you would be mental to leave this turned off because you want PC, well, you want Xbox and PlayStation players playing together, right? And throw Switch into that mess. You've got a lot more players, especially with Xbox and, and PS4 and 5. Now, I don't entirely know what the player base size is, but if I had to guess, I would imagine that Xbox generally suffers longer wait times just because it's got a lower install base because generally less people seem to have Xboxes. More people have got PlayStation. So allowing PlayStation players to play with Xbox is a massive, massive win. So what about social features? Will I use my console handle, Xbox username, PSN ID, etc., or my battle tag during console matches? Once you've linked your console and Battle.net accounts, you will display your Blizzard battle tag during matches. There are specific cases where your console handle will be displayed, such as friends lists and top 500 lists. Now, this actually, there might be a knock-on effect to this. So, I know smurfing is an issue on console. But actually getting you to sign up to a Battle.net account might actually remedy that situation because if they're using your battle tag, you can't just keep changing that. You, you have to pay Blizzard to change your battle tag. So you can't just go away and fire up a different name. Or, in fact, I think on consoles, you could literally just make a new account, right? I mean, maybe you could make a new account, then link it with a Battle.net account and get around it that way. I don't know. I'm not a console player, so forgive my absolute ignorance there, guys. But maybe this will help a little bit. Will other players be able to see my real ID after I link my Battle.net account? Being able to see another player's real ID, this is their real name, is contingent upon account settings. To learn more, visit our support page. Now, what this is, you can have, like if you've got um, friends and they're playing loads of different Blizzard games and maybe they've got World of Warcraft characters and they've all got different names or whatever, instead of it displaying their character name, saying like, uh, you know, Stylos is playing like... I don't know what I would even call my character if I was playing Warcraft. Wait, just imagine a name, Bob. Let's say Bob. You might look at your friends list and go, well, who the hell is that? But Real ID would put their name next to it. So it would say like um, Bob in brackets, stylos kind of thing. So it's got some pros and it's got some cons. But yeah, you can change it in your account settings, which is good. If I had a friend on the same console, will they be my friend on both PSN, Xbox, Switch and Battle.net? Adding a friend through the Overwatch game will make them your Battle.net friend. If you wish to add a friend on the same console without them also being a Battle.net friend, you can use your console's native social menu. So if you do it through Battle.net, yeah, the game uses Battle.net, but you can also use the PSN community feature or the Xbox community feature to just have your own console-specific friends list, which is fine. If I opt out of crossplay, will I still see Battle.net friends on my friends list or only PSN, Xbox, Switch friends? No, if you choose to opt out of crossplay, you will not see your Battle.net friends on your friends list. How will bans work? For example, if my game account is banned on PC, can I no longer play on other systems? Can I link banned game accounts? Account bans are determined at the game level. For clarity's sake, we'll refer to this as game account. For example, if a player's game account is banned on PC, they will still be able to use game account or accounts tied to their Battle.net account to play Overwatch on console unless they have been banned for a more serious offence. If a player's Battle.net account has been closed due to repeat or severe offences, they will not be able to log in and will need a new copy of Overwatch and Battle.net account to play the game. Okay. Um, yeah, fair enough, I suppose. 
Can I add friends, report, mute, avoid, and block players from other systems? Yes, you can. Can I use voice chat to talk to players on other systems? Yes, you can. See, all this is really cool. Really, really cool. So what about matchmaking and game modes? Will crossplay be enabled for all game modes? Crossplay is enabled for all game modes with the exception for competitive games. Competitive players will be split into two pools depending on the system that they are playing on. Number one, console players, and number two, PC players. For balance purposes, PC players and console players will not be mixed in the same pool for competitive matches. Well, there you go, guys. That's it pretty plain as day there. Console is one big group. PC remains how it is for competitive. However, all the other game modes, they are one giant pool. So you could go and play quick play and you might get a Switch player if you're playing on PC, which is cool because it means you can play with your friends who are playing on Switch. And this is incredibly good to me. This is amazing. One of the issues with Overwatch is it's like the, it's the great joke of the game. It's a team-based game that is very difficult to play with your friends. It's, it's like, what the hell, Blizz? So it's good that this is actually being implemented, and it's a good sign for Overwatch 2 whenever the hell that decides to launch. All right, let's move on because we've got some more. Will competitive matches include players from other systems? Competitive players will be split into two pools depending on the system that you are playing on. One console players and two PC players for balance purposes. PC players and console players will not be mixed in the same pool for competitive matches. So again, just reaffirming that point. Can a console player on controller group with a PC player who's using mouse and keyboard and play together? Now, this is some crucial information as well. Yes, but only in non-competitive game modes. Any group consisting of both PC and console players will be placed into the PC player matchmaking pool. Mouse and keyboard players will not be able to join the console player matchmaking pool, regardless of who is in their group. Very interesting there. How will crossplay impact the current season? Season 28, the competitive season. When crossplay goes live, there will be some time left in season 28. SR and leaderboards will be preserved when we patch and continue as normal for the rest of the season. Crossplay for competitive won't be enabled until season 29. Meaning console players will only play with other of their specific platform for the remainder of season 28. When season 29 goes live, players on different consoles will be able to group together and play ranked. Competitive season 29 is scheduled to begin on the 1st of July. So there we go again. This like this is a huge win. Like I'm just going to again go out on a limb. I don't think the Switch console base is particularly massive for Overwatch. But PlayStation is and Xbox is chasing after it. So you put those two together, that is a major win for people who want to play Overwatch on console. There will be more games. There will be more players. And of course, like I said, PC players benefit from this because you can play with your friends when they're playing on consoles. And I've got to be honest, sometimes you might want to chill on your, your couch or something and not sit up front of your PC and, and you're just playing like Mystery Heroes or whatever. Sure, just kick back, use your controller, play on your PC or on your Xbox and play with your PC friends. There's, there's loads of win, win, win scenarios for this. So it's about time they've done this. We've still got some more information though, so let's break this down. I'm a PC player who uses a controller. Can I play in the console matchmaking pool? No, PC players will play with other PC players regardless of their input method. Now here's a big one. Will console aim assist be enabled when I match up with PC player? No, console aim assist will be disabled by default if you group up with a PC player to equalize play during the match. So there you've got it. You will not get aim assist. Now, I am not sure what this means. If you are used to playing with aim assist, because every console game so far that has been played of Overwatch has aim assist on it, suddenly when you join with a PC player and you go and play quick play, it might feel strange. And I, I honestly don't know the answer to that. I'm going to have to rely on you guys in the comments below. Is this bad? Is this good? Now, it's been done for balance reasons, which is fair enough. Because obviously PC players don't have aim assist. But I don't know about this. Like you, you guys are going to have to let me know. Will aim assist be enabled when I play in the console only pool? Yes, aim assist is enabled for all consoles versus console matchups. I only want to match against players on the same console. Is that possible? Yes, disabling crossplay features will ensure that you only match with other players on your same system. 
you also have crossplay disabled. Now, again, I don't recommend this, guys. They, I mean, they want you to sign up to Battle.net, fair enough, but they, you want to turn this on because you'll have access to more players and you'll get faster games. Can I disable crossplay? Crossplay will be automatically enabled by default for all users. If you decide that you want to opt out of the crossplay function, you may do so through the Overwatch in-game menu or within your console system settings for Xbox. PC players cannot opt out of crossplay. Will disabling crossplay increase my queue times? Most likely, yes. We expect there to be a smaller pool of players on each console who have opted out of crossplay. So again, that's critical there, right? So think about it. If you're by default placed into crossplay, so your user base for people who disable crossplay on the consoles is going to be really, really small. So your game times might be absolutely massive. So I honestly recommend you do not turn crossplay off because if you turn it off, you might it might take hours to find a game because there's literally nobody left in that pool of players. I really can't see a reason why you would not have crossplay on either. Anyway, let's move on. Will crossplay be available for custom games? Yes, it will. Is crossplay in beta? Will there be more changes to this feature in the future? Yes, it is currently in beta. Um, the Overwatch development team will be monitoring feedback and will look to make improvements on the feature moving forwards. And finally, there's a little piece on the Overwatch League. Where are my owl tokens delivered? PC, console, or both? Owl tokens purchased by players are delivered to the system on which the player makes their purchase. Owl tokens earned through the Overwatch League viewership rewards program are rewarded at the battle.net account level and therefore delivered to all systems associated with the linked account. All right, so those are the juicy details there on crossplay. Finally, it's coming to Overwatch. This is a good thing. It's not out just yet, but it will be. Um, so stay tuned for that. I, I mean, I can't wait for this. I think it's going to be really cool. I might actually start playing. I might actually mess about on Switch uh, with my Overwatch because I'll be able to find a game. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't know. I think this is really good, though. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, guys. The aim assist issue might be a problem. One thing I do want to shout out, though, before I end this video is there is a very good blog post on the Overwatch website. I'll put a link to this in the video description. It is about the... It's some of the engineers from Over, from the Overwatch um, engine team um, have got together and basically shown off some of the changes they can they can do to the game and the weather effects with the new engine. And it's really, really cool. Stuff like this generally doesn't get a lot of eyeballs on it, but it looks really, really cool. And there's some nice shots of Numbani. Looks like a Numbani story mission because they've really changed the map up. But it looks really, really cool. So yeah, I like more stuff like that. And uh, yeah, all right, guys, I'll leave a video at that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you lovely lot on the next one. Doodaloo.